Hey guys, so today I'm here with a review of Coral Video Studio Pro X3. Uh, now I get a question asked all the time, and that is, what video editor do I use? Well, go ahead and give uh, today I'm gonna go ahead and give a full video on what I use, which of course is Video Studio. Um, I've used this for about six months now, and before that I used its predecessor. So I hope I, I think I'm pretty I'm pretty well uh, versed in how to use it. So I'll go ahead and give you guys my full review. Um, so Video Studio Pro is not a high range video editor. Um, you know, if you're looking for something like Sony Vegas, if you need all that power, then this is not going to cut it. However, it works great for me. I don't have really complicated editing. And so it works really nicely for me. And it probably will work for you, I would say for the majority of you, unless, like I said, you need some really advanced features. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you how it works really simply. Um, there are a lot of uh, settings, and of course, this is a fairly in-depth editor. I don't want to go through everything, but I will show you the basics. Um, as you can see here, we do have a window. Basically, you know, we can preview. So, I mean, if I want to go ahead and select this, I can go ahead and preview. You know, the video. Um, you know, you can do all that kind of stuff. Um, there are things where you can go ahead and mark in, mark out. Uh, you can cut. You can also go ahead and view it in a larger screen if you like. Um, but basically, this is the way where you you, know, you edit it, and you can go ahead and select between project and clip. Um, now, over here is where you find all your files. So yeah, I can go ahead and select through all my video files. And as you can see here, I have a fair few video files in here. Um, so let's go ahead and just add one really quickly here. So let's jump into my desktop and pick out a video I need to go ahead and edit. Um, so let's go ahead and just uh, mock edit it. I don't want to, it would take a little bit too long if I did this all, but so let's go ahead and just grab it and drag it down here. Uh, now here's where we set all of our stuff. So you know, here's where we put the video, but we can also go ahead and add other things. So let's go ahead and do a picture in picture. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab another video. Let's do this Game Boy Advance review. And do keep in mind, this is not really actually editing video. I'm just showing you how it works. So there we go. Let's say we, I want a picture in picture. So I can go ahead and move this around the screen however I like. Or I can go ahead and just anchor it at maybe the, uh, the bottom right. So let's say, you know, for whatever reason, this is how we want to do it. Um, so there we go. We've got this going here. Um, we can actually add quite a few. In fact, if we open up the track manager, you'll see here we can have up to six overlays. So you can go ahead and add images or video in all sorts of different ways, which is very handy. We also have title tracks as well as music tracks. We'll go ahead and just show you that right now. So let's go ahead and select the title track. Um, let's say, let's just drag this down here. So let's say we want to say, uh, let's say this is going to be Nintendo. So we're just doing something here. So we go ahead and have Nintendo, and I want it up in right here. Um, I of course can change the how long it's going to last. Uh, all the you know the bold. I want it to be you know aligned on the left, and go through all my fonts. Um, you know you can do all the standard stuff. Indeed, you can also go ahead and go into border, uh, so I can make it you know let's say I want to add a shadow. I may not be able to see that too well, or I can make it glow. Um, there's all kinds of different things you can do as far as the text. Um, and indeed, you can go farther and actually add animations. So if I want it to drop, um, I can go ahead and make it fly in. So if I want it to fly in, um, there's all kinds of things you can do like that. But we're going to go ahead and just leave that alone. Um, so now we've got our text, we've got our videos, and now let's go ahead and add some audio. Um, so I can go ahead and go down here to the audio tab. And then it does come with several presets, and indeed it actually does come with some preset video, so you know, for transitions and stuff. But it also does have a fair few different uh, audio that's totally royalty free and ready for you to use. So let's just pick something random and drop it down here on the audio tab. Um, so there we go, now let's go ahead and jump over to the project. Now of course this is a total mess, but as you can see here we do have a lot of the different things that Video Studio can handle. So we can go ahead and play through this, we'll go ahead and click on it. And you can see here the videos are going to start playing. Um, it works pretty well as far as the uh, CPU and everything. It actually is really does run very nicely on multi-core processors. So if you have you know like a Core i5, especially a Core i3, um, I do all my editing on a Core i3. So it does work very well when you have multiple cores. Um, so there we go. That's the basics. Now there are a few other things. Um, we can go ahead and go over to transitions, and there are a very very nice variety of transitions here. Um, I don't know exactly how many, but as you can see, there are more than enough. So uh, let's go ahead and grab this and just add transition just to show you guys how it works. So let's just cut that. And let's pick, uh, let's see, here. what do we want to use? Let's use uh, cross zoom. So I'm going to just drop it on here. And of course, that's the way you do most things. If you have an effect or a transition, you can just pick it up and drop it wherever you want. So let's go ahead and play this and see how this looks. So 
There we go, not too bad. And of course we can go ahead and you know change that up and do whatever we like. Um, so that's the transitions. Now last thing I want to show you is effects. Um, as you can see here, again, a lot of effects are available in Coral, Coral Video Studio. Um, you know, some of them, like, uh, you know, you want a vignette. I don't know. Actually, I'm probably not saying that right. Um, you can, you know, throw stone. You can have it, uh, you know, with, like, wind effects. You can zoom motion, which is actually a pretty cool effect. Um, you can even do old film. So a lot of the stuff is really cool available in here. So like active camera, for example, let's go ahead and just use this one. Um, so now if we go ahead and play it, as you can see here, you know, it looks, you know, like an earthquake or something. And indeed we can go ahead by pulling up the options. Oops. Let's go ahead and go here and pull up the options. We can go ahead and actually customize this. So, you know, if we want it to, you know, to less crop, less blur, et cetera, et cetera. We can even go ahead and pick presets. And indeed this works for pretty much all of these. They all have different options. So it's very, very customizable. Um, last thing I'll go ahead and show you is just how to render it. Um, you know, you have the different things. You can go ahead and just, there's a straight upload to YouTube video, which is what I usually do. Um, I will mention one slight drawback, especially for me, is that when you go ahead and render it as, uh, you know, render it once you're done with the video and you're ready to render it, um, it, you know, this is what I usually use, just the standard MP4 HD. However, it only works up to 10 minutes. And so if I have a video that's longer than 10 minutes, um, there's really no great way to do it. So the way I have to do it is if I have, let's say, a 10 and a half minute video I want to put up on YouTube, well, I have to go ahead and render it as HDV 720p, and then I need to go ahead and re-render it to get the file size down. Uh, that's pretty much my only major negative part of this file, but uh, this program, rather. However, that's a pretty minor thing. I doubt many of you will just have to do 720p and upload it to YouTube that is le more than 10, and a 10 minutes long. So kind of a minor thing there. Um, but of course, that's the way you can do it. You can go ahead and choose all kinds of different formats. So you know, if you want to put it for Blu-ray, for DVD, um, all kinds of different things, you can go ahead and set that up, and then it will render. Um, I had noticed that render times are very fast. Um, it does tap on onto your GPU, so especially if you have a nice GPU in your computer, it will render very, very fast. Uh, mo most of the time, the videos, like, for example, the seven-minute video, rendering in high definition probably won't take but 10 minutes on my Core i3 processor. Uh, so anyway, guys, that's it for my review of Coral Video Studio Pro X3. Um, really, really great video editing program, and the best part is that it is very cheap. Um, so currently on Amazon, I just looked it up, it's going to be running you about $35, which is much, much cheaper than what you might find in a similar uh, video editing suite with you know similar features. Um, so beyond, between the fact that it works really quite well, you know, you don't have to worry about a lot of you know, lag or glitchiness. I mean, it work, runs very nicely. And the fact that it's really quite cheap and works great, I highly, highly recommend this if you're, you know, if you need video editing for whatever you need, especially for YouTube, it does work quite well. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it. Um, you know, I've had a lot of questions about what video editor I use. So I did want to go ahead and do a full review on it and show you guys all about it.